Hello, I'm going to show you how to play um, three Simon and Garfunkel intros. Um, people think Paul Simon played all the guitars on his stuff, um, when in fact he didn't. He had a lot of session guys playing the tricky stuff. Um, and I'm going to show you some of those trickier ones, starting with this one. That's the intro to the boxer. Oops. The idea. Alright, so, start with that one. How do we do that? Um, three fingers on strings three, two, and one. Alright, these three fingers have got a lot to do. Alright, so um, the first thing we're going to do is, I'll try and break this down slowly. Play the first string with your third finger and then pull off that little finger to play an open string. And then play a two, then a one, then a two, then a three. And then take off your second finger and play one, two, three, one, two, three. All right? And then put your first finger now on the second string of the first fret and play that note. And then put your little finger on the third string of the third fret and pull that off. And then play the two again. And then straight to your C for your first bass note of the, of the pick. I'm gonna show you how to do that pick anyway. You know all these uh, proper picks. We did a simple one um, a couple of tutorials ago, but I'm gonna show you how to play those syncopated bass notes you know, the sort of, you know, and how to incorporate that uh, within the pick itself. So we'll do that later. But for now, I just wanted to show you how to play that little lick. Now, I'm going to just sit around here so you can maybe just catch that a bit better. I'll do it slowly. I'll do it one more time. Pull off that little finger and then two, one, two, three. Okay, one more time. Take off your second finger for the one, two, three, one, two, three, and then your first finger onto the second string. <laughs> onto the second string, play that second string. Little finger onto the third, uh, uh, third string, third fret, and pull off, and then hit the two. It's always difficult to you know when you're used to playing these things uh, all the time and then you have to slow them down and think about it because people who play they'll know that when you start to think about things that you t that you do take for granted like blinking for example if you start to think about it you end up doing that or if you start thinking about walking because you might be walking past the bus stop for the people and you think you start to get a bit self-conscious so you think i really must make sure i don't look silly as i walk past this bus stop full of girls and before the, yeah I used to do this as a kid by the time you got to the bus stop you're sort of walking all daft because you're thinking about it too much well the same applies to this try not to overthink it I was looking right so, so that's one that's um, obviously the boxer right the next one is um, now again this is a real tricky one this now, when um, Paul Simon plays it, he sort of goes and leaves the guy that you don't see in the shadows at the back doing the. And of course, the um, the song is Mrs. Robinson. Okay. Now, the important thing with this is knowing when to start it. One and two and three and four and one and. So it's on the half beat after the and. One and, one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one. So let's get straight down to what it is. It's a basic, it's basically a, a, an E major shape, okay? Um, bass note. Bring all your fingers off when you're doing these hammers, by the way. Hammer onto the fifth. Then an upstroke on the fourth. Do that. And then do another upstroke on the fourth. 
then a bass note, and then another upstroke on the fourth with your fingers back on. And then one and two and three and four and one. And then straight back in. along with that it's a it's a tricky one not many people play it um but if you can do it and then you can have fun with it you can sort of show off a bit All right i'll do it one more time for you bass note and we're on to the fifth up on the fourth string up on the fourth down on the bass with fingers still off and then put your fingers back on and then one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four So that's uh, Mrs. Robinson. The chords for all these songs, as I always keep saying, you can find them on the internet. Um, what you don't normally find is the correct way to uh, to begin those songs. All right, which I'm hopefully I'm going to help you with. Uh, the other one that's a tricky little one. Um, it's great though. Is um, it's quite a simple one really, but it's it's just fiddly, you know. Um, now I'm going to he sort of. It's uh, I am a rock, and um, it's based around the uh, the chord G. But we only because he's playing bits of the G. We don't need to put a lot of fingers on. So I just put your third finger on the bass string at the third fret from the capo, which is at the um, fifth fret. So we're actually in the key of C, even though we're playing the G shape because of the capo position. So it's okay. So get that rhythm in your head. Boom, boom, boom. Now these two fingers here are going to hammer and pull off three times. Okay, so boom, boom, boom. And then straight. He does a better, I, I like it when he plays that, um, there's just another one while we're at it, while we're doing that. Take your capo off. Uh, you know, um, if you play that bass note there, this is another one, that's what you call value for money. Put that one there, put your little one, little finger down on the first string. Oh, I love this. What you're going to do is play your bass string, let the fifth string be muted, because normally you'd have a finger there, wouldn't you, if you're playing G. Forget that. These two fingers are going to go on and off here on the second string of the first fret and on the fourth string at the second fret. So before you play this, just get used to doing that. Okay, and this is used in millions of pop songs and everything, so this is great. I mention it because we've just sort of done something similar with the fifth. Now watch this, a shuffle rhythm. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and... So watch this. And on the two and the four, I want you to put those fingers on. Only on the two and four. to do David Bowie. John, I'm only dancing. Anyway, there's those three um, intros, or four, with that little bit of the extra bit at the end. I uh, hope you've enjoyed it. Any problems, let me know, and I will sort them out for you. Uh, subscribe if you haven't already done so, please, and then you'll get notified when I put up other tutorials or performances or pictures or whatever I'm in the mood to be doing. Um, and I will see you all soon.